This is Jim Emter, Van Onnen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, but they're closing grain and livestock comments for March 27th, 2020. Corn market down two and three quarters. Beans anywhere from up one and a quarter to down two and a quarter. Chicago wheat up one. Kansas City wheat down a half. And Minneapolis wheat up about seven. When you look to the weekly trade, we had the corn market up two and a quarter. Beans up 19. Chicago wheat up 32. Kansas City up 17 and three quarters. And Minneapolis wheat up 18. So kind of a back and forth week. We did see some strength, which is encouraging to see, seeing the markets try to pick themselves back up after what was a very rough week the week prior. And still a lot of uncertainty over uh, a lot of different things. The COVID-19, obviously African swine fever impact to demand. Will China show up, won't they? After some reasonable purchases here uh, last Last week and uh, into early this week, uh, but really it's going to boil down to next week about the crop report. Uh, markets expecting somewhere around a 94.3 corn anchor planting, 84.8 soybean, and 44.9 all wheat. Uh, that's planting number and stocks report are likely to bring some market movement, uh, no assurance of that, but the history for corn is around a 19 cent move and for soybean around a 30 cent move out of the last 12 years. So just be ready, keep the whole cards close, manage your risks and just understand uh, that we're kind of stuck in a mid range here where we have opportunity to fall or rally to the tune of reasonable amounts for these markets. Now, corn, beans and wheat are all trying to build on some positive momentum here, uh, but for the corn market, it's still tough because we're in a downward spi spiral as of late on the charts. When you look to the live cattle market, down 450 uh, on the live cattle, down 450 feeders, and down 445 on the hog market. On the week, live cattle up 230, feeders down, down 12 and a half, and the hog market down 31 and a quarter. 119, kind of the culmination of live cattle trade, 186 to 189 dressed. Um, exports were okay for the week. Uh, and really cut out values uh, kind of flattened out a little bit towards the latter part of the week And I think that's why you've seen uh, the market struggle on futures due to the Dow uncertainty as well But equally cash is trading well above futures price. We'll have to see how that pans out hog market Hogs under uh, uh, the base, you know, looking at around $66 here at this point. Uh, pork cutout uh, was uh, basically lower on the week. And you did have very positive export, but the hog and pig report kept a negative tone around the market. So hogs stuck in a rut along with cattle here. Uh, we'll have to see how they come out of it, but hogs right on the lows. Live cattle giving up a good portion of their rally for the week with this uh, Friday sell-off. And we'll just have to see where we come in uh, as we work ahead here. Crude oil market on the week down 122. U.S. dollar index down 471. And the Dow Industrial up 1,500 points. This has been Jim Emter, Van Onnen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation. Have a great afternoon.